Hello there and welcome back commanders and commanderettes. This is Chesty Puller here with an update on the new Shadow Ops 3 Corpus 70. This is a method with air only and some missiles. This is probably the easiest fastest way to do these. However, um, there's another video I ha have out for uh, ground uh, attack and that's just a little more complicated um, you use a lot of units and uh, it's uh, a little more technical in the attack this is pretty straightforward um, you take out the uh, <clears throat> four uh, drone silos and then you shock all the hunters and um, now my uh, manticores have the extra range maxed out so uh, I don't know if without the range if um, if you can reach these things with uh, the same ease that I can but uh, I do know that with the extra range when you target the hunter here in the front um, the other hunter cannot reach you in the back don't forget to take out all of the uh, drone silos now the bad news is uh, you'll notice that in my videos I really don't use um, missiles and so I don't like to use missiles the good news is um, that these missiles are cheap. These are uh, shock missiles and um, dead eyes. And everyone should have those maxed out by now. That's the, uh, the last drone silo, and uh, and then what I do here is I, uh, I do two shocks in a row, and uh, I, I start the uh, movement of my manticores toward uh, toward the uh, the first hunter, while the other shock missile is in flight towards the second one because these hunters here are too close to each other so you want to make sure that uh, you shock them both. You'll also notice that my uh, manticores are taking things out really quickly that's because they are they're level 19 I'm just waiting on one uh, token short to make them 20 which I should have here in a couple of days. I don't know if the level 20s have any special uh, ability. There's uh, usually uh, a special ability once you reach level 20, and uh, some of them have them. Some units have that special ability, and others don't seem to have any special ability other than having more hit points. and damage per second once they reach level 20. So the, that little bit of damage that I took right there was uh, from the towers. The towers have uh, stingers in there and the stingers literally cost maybe one second worth of damage. So it's free repair but they can shoot uh, the stingers can shoot the manticores, but the manticores literally take only like one second worth of damage. Uh, believe it or not, these manticores are actually pretty tough. And they can uh, even take a hit from um, a hunter and really not take that much damage. They can also take hits from... Uh, 
anti-air units. They're pretty tough. Um, not as tough as I'd like to see them, but um, you can actually uh, get a lot done. If you'll remember the Manticore bonus base um, on my video there I was taking out um, Tempests with my Manticores and it takes uh, about one hit and the, and the Tempest is done. That's one thing I really do like about the uh, Manticore. They can take out a lot of things quickly. They cannot take out inert buildings very well like uh, power plants it takes them a long time to take out the the uh, power plants but the uh, the turret bases those those die so quickly one one shot and they're done same thing with heavy turrets same thing with uh, even reinforced heavy turrets I've got five uh, manticores there one shot from all five of those and just about any turret will fall so as you can see there free repair and uh, not too much um, res for the uh, missiles that you use. Check out my other video if you want to use ground and you don't want to use missiles.